Father, we thank you in the blessed name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for goodness and mercy. I decree and I declare the Lord Jesus touches be with us. Even those that are watching, I pray the Lord of God, may you touch them. I bind all powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Amen. Now, today, uh, in short, I'm preaching only to you to this week. So, this week, I'm not preaching to anybody else, but only to you. So, receive in Jesus' name. Now, today, what I'm saying is I want to deal with the subject family deliverance. Family family deliverance from the um, evil and wicked spiritual markets and so traders. It's a long topic. I say family deliverance from the evil and wicked spiritual market and so traders, or they can also be called evil traders. Now, I'm going to read two scriptures first. The first one, which is uh, Nahum chapter 3, verse 4. Now, maybe before I can read, what do I mean by... Um, family deliverance. You know, most of us when we come for deliverance sometimes we do not need first individual deliverance. Most of us we need first what? Family deliverance. Even if you are alone you need to represent your family for deliverance. Are you with me? Now, I have mentioned maybe two weeks ago that when one person, I think I was dealing with covenants, if one person or two people decide to make a blood covenant, you should understand that they represent the whole family. In other ways, maybe their offsprings will fall and suffer the consequences of that covenant because of those two people entered in the covenant. And it's the same way whereby you can stand in the gap for your family. Most of the people, the reason why they don't get delivered, because they start only with just individual deliverance. You need to have family deliverance. When you're registering, you need to indicate that I need family deliverance of the family. Now, I'll make you understand why. That's why the title is Family Deliverance from the Evil and Wicked Spiritual Markets and So Traders. Now, I'll read two scriptures that will give us an understanding. The first scripture is Nahum chapter 3 verse 4. Nahum chapter 3. The Bible says, Because of the multitude of the whoredoms, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft, that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what the Bible says? The Bible says because of what? Of the multitudes of the whoredoms, of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft. Now, we know it is not talking about Jezebel. It is talking about Semiramis. Are we getting on? Say the Babylonian religion. It says, the mistress of witchcraft that selleth or that sells, that what? Yes. Nations through her whoredoms. So, nations are sold through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft. Now, this is a spiritual market. This is what? You cannot sell if there is no market. Where do you sell? At the market. So, it can be whether it's a forex or uh, it's, you know, uh, whether it's auction or whatever. So, I want you to have the picture of the market or auction. 
or much more, I think we should go back to slave trade, to what? where people could stand because that's where people were being sold. Because if we just go to the market, maybe we may think about beans, meat. But let's go back to slave trade. Where even up today, there is modern slave trade happening in Libya and the other parts of the world where people are being sold as they are being captured, as they are trying to cross you know, the sea, Mediterranean Sea. They are being captured and sold. And I was shocked when I was looking at CNN. Big men, muscular men, they are standing and they are bidding for them. They have no freedom because they have been captured. They are trying to cross overseas. And they are captured now. They are being sold. So in our modern time, I, I get what I'm saying. So maybe in Africa, it's, it's something we can maybe understand because slave trade happened more in Africa. I, I get what I'm saying. Or other parts of the world. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, the Bible says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcraft, that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft, meaning she is in between, like a mediator. She sells nations to the devil through her whoredoms and sells families through her witchcraft. Meaning the method that she uses to sell families through what? Uh, witchcrafts. Actually, it doesn't say witchcraft. It says witchcrafts. Meaning different methods or means of witchcraft that families have been auctioned. Or families have been sold. The Bible says she sells. See what? She sells in short. She sells nations. She sells families. In other words, here if you look at it, it doesn't talk about individual. Hello? It doesn't talk about? It talks about? And? Nations. So in other words, the selling, that's why I say family deliverance. Because most of us, what we need first is family deliverance. Some of the problems that you're facing is because your family has been sold or auctioned. In a wicked spiritual market, the bidders, they are bidding. Now you should understand the bidders could be demon of poverty, could be demon of cancer, could be demon of so They are bidding. Huh? Says 20, 30. I get what I'm saying? And once you are bought by a specific spirit, you find that that spirit now will start manifesting through your family because that's where you have been sold to. You are a slave of that spirit. That's why the Bible talks about the strong man. Jesus talks about the strong man because you are sold to the strong man of your family. Remember the Bible says she does what she sells. So most of people need family deliverance. They need what? Now I want to read Lamentation quickly chapter 5. This is what happened when you are sold. This is what? When you are sold. Lamentation chapter 5. Lamentation is just after Jeremiah. Let's look at what really happens if you are sold. Like the children of Israel, they were sold through the sin. Remember, she sells us through what? Her witchcraft. Meaning witchcraft activity. The currency is what? What currency does she use? Witchcraft activity. In other ways, there is no, like, they don't use rand or dollar. Or they use witchcraft activities as what? As a currency to sell the family. Are you getting what I'm saying? So let's look at Lamentation 5. Let's, I'm going to start from 1 up to maybe 7 quickly. The Bible says, remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. This is when you are sold. Now your family is sold, right? Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned into strangers. Our inheritance have been turned to? Our houses to aliens. Because now you have been sold. They hit the hammer sword. 
So what was supposed to be yours now is controlled by strangers, meaning wicked people, wicked spirits. Are you with me? Our head has been turned to strangers. Number three says, we are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. Huh? We have drunk our water for, uh, for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Meaning your only things that you are supposed to have now is being sold to you. Look at Africa because of witchcraft has suffered a lot. Our forefathers in Africa sold us through witchcraft activities. That's why I find that there is a lot of gold in Africa. Eh? A lot of gold. Actually, the world gold, maybe 50% is from Africa. And it's bought at a cheap price, taken to Europe. They shape it or refine or whatever, and they'll come and sell it to you 10 times the price. So your only thing now, you're paying the price. Are you getting what I'm saying? It's not that we cannot develop in Africa, but our brains have been clogged sometimes because of demons. We have been sold. We have been oppressed. This is what was happening to these people. It says, uh, it says we have drunk our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Five, our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. We labor and we have what? We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to, satis to be satisfied with the bread. You become a slave. For you to just have food to eat, you have to suffer. I get what I'm saying? It says, now seven, it says, how did it happen? Seven says, our father sinned and are not, meaning they have died. And we have borne their iniquities. We suffer because of what they did. I got what I'm saying? Eight says, servants have ruled over us. There is none that does deliver us out of their hand. We got our bread with the peril of our lives because of the sword of the wilderness. Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. They lavished the women in Zion and the maids in the cities of Judah. Princes are hanged up, you know, by their hand. The faces of others are not honored. They took the young men to grind, and the children fell under the wood. The others have seized from the gate the young men from their music. The joy of our heart is seized. Our dance is turned into mourning. Now you can continue up to the end. Just a few verses there. But this is what happened when you are what? When you are what? You are sword. So most of our difficulties are as a result because our families have been sold on a wicked, evil spiritual market. The mistress of witchcraft has polluted the thrones and the soul. That's the reason why you find that wickedness and evil. These days, laws, wicked laws are being passed everywhere. Even in countries that you thought, hey, they can't pass them. They are passing them. Why? Because they are sold. They are under somebody else, not God. The one who is controlling that throne is a mistress of witchcraft who has sold them to a spirit. Are you getting what I'm saying? So families also have been sold by witchcraft. Families have been? So in other words, what I'm trying to talk about is that the traders, the traders in this scripture, in Nahum chapter 3 verse 4, the traders in this scripture are spirits of witchcraft. These powers sell both nations and families. So what am I trying to teach? I want to teach you I have to say it at the end and at the end and now. I want to teach you how to cry out in the spirit that you should be released. Your family must be released. God Himself was the first person who did that cry when the Israelites were sold as slaves in Egypt. He said, Let my people go. You have to pray, you have to cry that. 
you are going to let my family go in the name of Jesus. So we see that the Bible also shows us that God has also imprisoned the satanic prisoner warden according to Psalm 68 verse 18. I'll just quote just that one part. It says, Thou hast led captivity captive. Thou hast led what? Captivity captive. Thou hast led captivity captive. In other words, because now, captivity captive, in other words, the one who captures people is the one that has been captured. The one who captures people is the one who has been captured. So God has promised that he will lead the captivity captive, meaning the one who captures people has also to be captured. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we have hope. We, in other words, there is a verse that talks about prisoners of hope. We are prisoners of hope. We are prisoners of hope. That will come out if we cry to God and believe God. Are you with me? So, some people and families have also been, they have sold themselves. Some people and they have also what? Sold themselves. They have sold themselves. Now that is where the mistress of witchcraft will sell but there is also where people have willingly sold themselves. Are you getting what I'm saying? This we find in the book of Isaiah chapter 52 verse 3. The Bible says, For thus says the Lord, Ye have sold yourself for naughty, and ye shall be redeemed without money. For you have sold yourself for naughty. Huh? Eh? For that says the Lord, you have sold what? For nothing. Not meaning for nothing. Some people have sold themselves. Remember, I'm talking about sold traders, huh? Evil sold traders in a spiritual market. There are people that have sold themselves to the devil for nothing. Not for money. And God says, you shall be redeemed without money. You shall be redeemed without Money cannot redeem. That's why the devil can give you millions. The devil can what? Can give you millions for your soul. Why? Because he knows there is nothing that can redeem the soul apart from the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you with me? So these are people who sell themselves. They have sold their families. There are a lot of satanic markets. There are a lot of what? Where families have been auctioned and sold to the highest bidder. And some families are already sold. Some families are? While others are being advertised for selling. Some families are already? Others are being? Now, when I say being advertised, it's like slave trade time, like I said. They will have to make a profile. Eh? Young black male, <laughs> strong, fast in the kitchen, or fast with his hands. Hello? <laughs> Happy feet. Very good in uh, finishes, very fast in work. So they have to put, you know, the tags, the profile, or the status, I don't know how I can put it, to advertise you, or to advertise the family, that this family is supposed to be the richest in the country. They have bright destinies. In other words, so that when they buy you, they know that this is of value and worth. And therefore, if we change it, we can either change. This is the reason why there are a lot of people who are supposed to be prophets, but today they are Sangoma. Because they are sought. So they don't know that actually the devil looked at the qualities 
It's supposed to be a prophet. I say, oh yeah, I want this one so I can put a familiar spirit to use them for my own work. The devil is not a creator. He takes what is already created and he turns it. Many musicians you hear today, I know because a lot of people praise most of these female musicians and male musicians that are becoming billionaires or whatever. Go back. They were in the church. They were singing choir. They were singing praise. Sword to the highest bidder. Today, they are destroying the world. The world is falling on their knees. They are having billions. But where they were they? Who gave them the talent? Who gave them the gift? They were singing in the church. God gave them and the devil, they have been sold. The talent has been taken out. It's been used against it. Today, they are naming even their children demonic names as one of the ways I'm going to show you later on how you can sell your only children. Are you with me? Are you with me? So what I'm saying is that families, like I've said, they have been sold just like uh, it was like during slave trade and qualities I mentioned, like I've already said, to attract the highest bidder. So in the spiritual realm, uh, through this woman who sells nations and families through her old domes and witchcraft, there are different kinds of markets. There are different kinds of? Now you have to understand this. If you understand these things, then you will be able to know how to pray. I get what I'm saying. Hello? There are different kinds of? So you, you don't see them, but uh, they are there. How does she sell? There must be a market. So they advertise you. Now, for instance, I just want to look at quickly some of these markets. A, they are individual markets. Individual? Where they sell individuals. B, there is selective markets. Selective? C, there is collective markets. Or selective markets, like I've already said. Maybe markets of the first bonds. Market of them? Where they are sold. There is also markets of the breadwinners. There is poverty markets. And there is also market for the brightest in the family or community where they are picked. So you find that they will have face bonds in one place. It can be maybe the whole area, but one place, uh, these are face bonds. Uh, so this one, they will display their you know, qualities. And they'll say, okay, I need this one. This is the reason I've told you several times. That if you are the firstborn, you need prayer. Hello? In the Bible, I think I preached last time, right? Uh, did I? In the Bible, I showed you that every firstborn in the Bible never made it. Simeon never made it. Huh? Jacob's son, he never made it. He was cursed by his own father. Jacob and who? Esau. Did Esau make it? No, Jacob made it, not Esau. David's sons, who made it? Solomon, who was the youngest, firstborn. He was even killed, firstborn. They all, firstborns, they all made the grave mistakes. Jacob's son decided to sleep with his father's wife. David's son, same thing. And they were either killed or cursed or destroyed. There is no, if you look the whole line in the Bible, all great men of God, their first born son never made it. Why? Because God says the first son is mine, so the devil works very hard to get them, to buy them in a market of first bonds. So I'll get all of them for what price and he will pay it. Are you with me? Hello? So in other words, what I'm saying is that some brightest, like I've said, a lot of people are bright. Hmm? When I say bright, the brightest in the family or community, there's a lot of great people that are bright. How do you think? Haven't you observed that most of the people are support, who are genius? Most of people are genius or they have good talents. Majority of them will be displaying satanic signs. Why do you think that? Because he there is markets for the brightest. They will follow every person who has big brain. 
and they'll make sure they convert, they buy them to convert them to be. They'll buy them. They can never buy them direct by giving them money, they sign a contract, or they'll find a way of buying them so that they should represent Satan, not God. And yet God is the one who gave them what? The brain. I want you to understand about these markets. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? So, that's why whenever somebody is making a headways, very, very few make it straight, clean. Majority of them, as they get greater, they will be soiled or they will be polluted. And you find that they will join these groups. Maybe they lock up everything to say, okay, if you want us to fund you, you have to join us. We can fund you, we can make it happen. This is the reason why I told you that somebody can sign in their blood. Huh? Can sign a contract, become a satanist. Uh, they are small ones, but they are also, they are small ones. They lie to say, kill so many people, two years, three years, will promote you. Oh, they are lying to you. But there are those that they know that this one is of value, brightest. They will sign quickly, sign in your blood. Tomorrow, all newspapers will be talking about you. You even pinch yourself, is it me? How come I've just become popular? Because they know how to do it. They have representatives everywhere. You'll be shocked how good they are talking about you. Sword. And that's what we call selling your saw. Where? In the wicked and the evil spiritual market. Through what? Witchcraft. Through the wicked woman. Most of your stars, they appear. Whether in the movie stars or musician, at some time they have to wear a dress. Huh? It's because they are honoring God, Lucy. Sword. Selling your soul. Not Baphomet, God, Lucy. So they have to represent in the public to be humiliated in honor of that demon. Are you getting what I'm saying? All right. Common happenings in your family. Common what? In your family. Negative common happenings in your family are tied. Are what? To what the markets or what you have been sold or picked for. What you have been sold for in the market. So some families are sold to poverty spirits. Some have sold what? Poverty spirits. Some to suicide spirits. So if the suicide spirit is the one that won the bid, it means the rest of your family, you have so many suicides. Are you with me? If in the spiritual wicked market, the suicide spirit is the one that won the bid or picked you to say, I want this one. It means in your family there will be what? So common happenings that happen in your family are tied to the spirit you are sold to in the spiritual market. Are you with me? So many families are sold uh, already, like I've said, and remember I mentioned, I think last week or so, that this cell is outright. Is what? It's outright. Once you're sold, it's outright. There is no, I can change or something like that. So many families are what? Sold to the enemy. That is why there are certain common events that are happening in their family. They will have similar events. If you have similar events happening to everyone, it means you're sold. So, in other words, what will happen, some is poverty. Some, nobody in the family will ever rise up. From first born to last born, they will all suffer. It means they are sold the spirit of? So, you, uh, you portray the spirit you are sold to. For instance, if you look at Ab Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve, they sold the earth. They sold the earth and humanity. You know, to the devil. Through witchcraft, of course. So, in other words, when you are sold in these spiritual markets, you are sold outright unless you are bought back. You are what? That is the reason why uh, we see that the Bible says Christ, you know, died for us to redeem us. Galatians 3 verse 16 says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. What is the way to redeem? Is to buy back. 
because Jesus knows about the market, spiritual market. Hmm? He didn't just appear. He had to buy us back by his blood. Remember, God says, you have sold yourself for naughty. Now, you shall not be bought back by money, but by the blood of Jesus. So, Christ had to shed his blood to buy us back. First Peter chapter 1, 18 to 19 talks about ransomed. In other words, he had to pay, the, the, pay what? The ransom? Otherwise, we wouldn't be back because we were sold by Adam and Eve. Are you understanding the markets? We were what? By Adam and Eve. Now, auctions, all these things, God, he, he knows these things. He, he, he is the one. He knows about people being kidnapped. He knows about all this. That's why I had to pay the ransom. Because he knows about being kidnapped and being sold outright and being auctioned. That's why the Bible uses the word to redeem. Galatians 3 verse 13 to 15. NLV version say, Christ bought us with his blood and made us free from the law. In other words, he had to buy us. Are you getting what I'm saying? So, you need to know that just like Israel was in captivity. And Pharaoh had dominated them, over them. So does the spirit or the Pharaoh spirit dominate over your family once you're sold. That's why Jesus said you cannot take the goods of a strong man unless you bind him. Because the strong man is the one you have been sold to. The family strong man. Or it can be a family idol. Is the one you have been what? Sold to. So it's time like Moses and Aaron cried to the Lord. And it's time to act like God himself who said, let my people go. We have to cry to God and say, God, we want our family to be delivered. We are talking about family deliverance, right? Most of us need to stand for family deliverance that your whole family must be bought back. Not just you as an individual. You are suffering because you are part of the family. So if you are not bought back, the whole family, you still have problems. Because he, according to the demon, knows that the whole family is sold. I get what I'm saying. So buy back the family by the blood of Jesus. The Bible says we can purchase by the blood of Jesus. Buy back the family by the blood of the currency is already provided. Use the blood of Jesus to buy your family back. Cry to God. I get what I'm saying. And then have your personal deliverance. In the name of so, many people, as I'm most concluding, many people replicate the happenings in the family because the family has been sold into the, in the spiritual realm. Many people replicate what? Replicate the happenings in the family because the whole family has been sold. You find that one person will commit suicide, after sometimes another one will. The replica is because you are sold. Are you with me? So, in short, what I'm saying is that the trend, the trend of your family, the what? Reveals a lot about what spirit your family is sold to. Example given, some family is bitterness. They are all very angry. Some families is suicide. Some families rejection. Some families financial failures. Certain people of certain family, you find that they, some, some of them, they desire even to join the workout. They just have a natural desire to join the workout. Why? Because they are already sold. So that spirit is dominating over them. Some families, the trend is laziness. Some families, alcohol. They are all drunkards. Some families, depression. You know, they all suffer depression. Some families, accidents. Some families, health issues. Some families, is premature death. Some families, cancer. Some families failure. If you discover that two, three people in your family had cancer, it means you have been sold to that spirit. You need to redeem yourself. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why I find that you will also suffer the same because you are sold. You are under that spirit. Are you with me? So some families, it's uh, rebelliousness. Some families and so forth. So all these things, in short, what I'm trying to say is that you need to cry out 
to say that the Lord should restore your family, should buy back your family in the name of Jesus. If your family is not bought back, you still suffer consequences. That's why most of us need to go for family deliverance. If your family can come, the whole family praise the Lord much better. If you can stand on their behalf, at least to some extent, they may be brought back. That will cause them later to change. So it's not just I want you to be delivered. It's important for you to put family deliverance so that your family can be delivered. I decree and I declare, I release your family in the name of Jesus. I release your family in the name of Jesus. I release your family in the name of Jesus. I release your family in the name of Jesus. I release your family in the name of Jesus. Cry for Jesus.